Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave from Opus Gangster. So the other day I was with my friend and she was like, Yo Dave, is it possible to play Tegra games on your non tegra device? And I was like, yeah, completely. And she's like, yo, cool man, thanks, I wanna do that. And so, this video came alive. Maybe not, but I definitely wanna show you how to play Tegra games on your non tegra device. So what I mean by Tegra games are games that were designed for the Tegra 2 or Tegra 1 processor. And that processor was designed by NVIDIA. Now what's special about these games is the fact that these games are visually the best thing you'll find for Android. The graphics are intense and the resolution is just great all around. So as you're sitting there playing your little 2D game on your smartphone, you see your friend with their Econo tab playing Riptide, and you get jealous. You want to be like, well, I want to play that game on my phone. Why can't I do that? Well, with an app called Chainfire 3D, which is what we'll be using, it allows you to kind of sense it acts as a middleman between your CPU and your um, game you're playing and kind of emulates the processor to act as a Tegra processor. So that's, I mean, that's really a evasive, really evasive <laughs> way of how this works and very non-technical, but that's the whole idea of how we're getting about this whole procedure. So a few prerequisites and what you'll need for this project is first an Android phone with at least a 1 gigahertz processor or better. Keep in mind that these games were designed with dual core in mind, so if you have a slower phone, it just may not work. And if you somehow get this working on a G1, I will be beyond flabbergasted. And a low disclaimer, keep in mind that some games and some devices just may not work with each other, so be prepared for failure and use the whole procedure at your own risk. So without further ado, let's get this started. Okay, step one, go to the Android market and download Chainfire 3D. Now, as always, there are two versions available to you. You have a free version and a paid version. If you know that you're going to be using this often and you're going to run a lot of uh, Tegra games on your phone, I would highly suggest that you support developer and buy the paid version. And that's just because the paid version has an option for a market fix that allows the Tegra games to show up in the market. So that way you don't have to be shady about it and go online and download games. You can just buy them right from the market. Okay, so after you install it, open it up and go to Chainfire 3D Driver and go to install. Now, what's this basically saying? It's going to install it and reboot your phone and hit install. Once again, please remember that your phone must be rooted in order for this to work. It's going to install and it's going to reboot my phone. Okay, so now you want to download the NVIDIA zip file and transfer it to the root of your SD card. Okay, so after you transferred it to your SD card, open up Chainfire 3D, go to install plugins slash shaders. It's going to search your whole SD card for the file, so let's do that. And then choose lib nvidia zip, and there you go, zip installed. Okay, step five, this is optional. If you want to, you can also install a shader. What shaders are basically for some games like Riptide, for example, the lighting doesn't look completely correct or right when you play it. So people create shaders online for particular devices, particular games. So I had this shader just for Zara HD, but hopefully it worked for my device as well. So shader, okay. Okay, step six, gameplay. Now, as I mentioned before, if you brought the pro version of Chainfire 3D, then you won't have to worry about how you'll get your games because the pro version provides you with the market fix, which based on the market fix does is fix the settings so that you can search Tegra games in the market and you'll be able to download them to your phone. Like right now, if you search a Tegra game, it's not going to show up. It's going to say your device is not compatible with it. So if you buy the pro version, you have the option and it'll make life so much easier and that way you don't have to be shading going on the internet and download games to your phone. Now if you don't have the pro version, then really you don't have to be shading going on the internet and download them or you could go into your build prop and edit that, but that's a whole nother video for a whole nother time. So I'm going to leave how you get the games on your phone up to you. So let's actually look at gameplay finally. So I have Riptide on my phone. Now, Riptide is a Tegra game, 
graphics are amazing in this game. So let's take a look at this. Wow, these are amazing. this is amazing. Now, if you're playing this and you're having lighting issues, like right now I'm not having any lighting issues, and that's because I flashed the shader zip file. But if you are having light issue with, let's say, Riptide or some other game and the textures just don't look right, be sure to go and flash the shader um, zip file because that will correct any issue you may have. Because like the first time I played this, I encountered that light issue. Oh, sorry. Light's kind of bright. Turn this light off for a second. Well, so as you can see, I'm kind of thoroughly <laughs> enjoying this. Gameplay is nice and smooth. No lag in this whatsoever. And as I'm losing this race, Position three of six. Woo! Yeah, this is very fascinating right here. Good stuff right here, and good stuff. And come on, I'm almost there. Ooh, yay! Okay. So there you go. That's gameplay, and have that right there. And that. So this has just, this has been how to play Tegra games on your non-Tegra device. Hopefully this helped you in some way and allows you to keep open mind when it comes to Android and just have the possibilities to do whatever you want on there. So thanks for watching and tune in for another galvanizing video. Thanks.